Welcome back. We'd like to welcome Steve Siebel to the uh, show. He is the author of Die Fat or Get Tough. And to some people, this might be a little controversial. And why is that? Well, it really gives the message that if, it, if you're fat, it's your fault. It's time to grow up emotionally, get tough, and fix it. And that's really the answer, I think. Okay, so uh, a lot of people might blame, you know, manufacturers, uh, portion sizes, and those types of things. But you say, don't put the blame on them, blame yourself. Right, because no one's coming over to our homes and stuffing the food in our mouths. Right. I mean, I gained 40 pounds eight years ago. I was stuffing the pizzas in my mouth, the cheeseburgers, all the bad things. Mm -hmm. So who was I to blame? I mean, it was my fault. I stopped doing it. I lost the weight. Game over. Okay, so if someone wants to get serious about their weight, what do they need to do? First of all, go to your physician. Make sure you're healthy enough for a diet, exercise program. That's number one. Make sure you're, you're safe. And then yeah. two, make a decision. You're going to do this once and for all. You're not going to yo-yo diet. You're not going to cheat. You're actually going to do it and fix the problem. Okay, you've always talked a little bit about this. What, what's your story? Why did you write the book? Well, because I gained 40 pounds. I give speeches for a living to Fortune 500 companies yeah. all over. And so I travel. I'm in airports, and that's my excuse. So I'm eating all the lousy foods. I gained weight. And I couldn't believe how, how sluggish I felt. And I was embarrassed by this extra weight. So I lost the weight using what I talk about in corporate America, which is mental toughness training. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't believe how great I felt. So I thought, this is really the answer that people are, are, are looking for and no one's talking about it because it's not politically correct. Okay, now heredity and uh, health conditions can lead to obesity or, or just being fat as you would call it. Sure. So how much does that enter into it and what can you do about it? A percentage of it. I mean all those yeah. things, are there, they, they make it more difficult. There's no question about that, Ron. But it's still doable. It's just really a decision. So it makes it a little, a little tougher. Some people it's tougher to lose weight than other people. Sure. But it's still self-discipline and mental toughness that makes it happen. Okay, so a couple things in the book, tips on how you do that. Well, it's really, the, the foundation is to make a decision, and then it's about mental toughness. The, and this book is really a mental toughness book for dieters. The, the best thing I can say is, I, I wrote a program called FatLoser.com uh, mm -hmm. last year. Gave it, we've given it away to tens of thousands of people all over the world. It's all free. It's a, it's a mental toughness training program. Use that with the book, and that's probably my best advice I could give someone. Okay. And the uh, website again? FatLoser.com. Okay. And uh, the book is Die Fat or Get Tough. Thanks so much, Steve, for coming in this morning. Hey, thanks, Ron. Thanks for having me. All right. You can take uh, your macaroni and cheese and, yeah. <laughs> and head out of town. <laughs> okay. So, okay. Thanks, guys. When was the guys. last time you had some? Yeah, yeah it's an old box. <laughs> <laughs> well, still to come on to news this morning, we'll check back in with Casey, road tripping in Telluride. Saddle up. Coming up next, we're going to show you the secret in Telluride. You're road tripping with us. And it's no secret, it is going to be a gorgeous day and our thunderstorms are gone, at least for now. We'll tell you when we expect them to return next.